My name's Tom, and I'm leaving the grind behind and hitting the road in search of adventure in my custom tiny studio on wheels. Welcome to Casa. Nowhere. Don't forget to subscribe. You wouldn't want to miss anything. Well, hello, Internet. It was another productive week here on the trailer build. I was able to get the Max Air fan installed. And this video, I do a little how-to of that installation, which began Friday night by installing the one-inch foam insulation up into the rafters of the trailer. Once I had that complete, I was prepared to install the fan the next morning. All right, well, today is Saturday, and it's supposed to be 100 today. With a heat index of 108, it's already super humid. So I am up at the ass crack of dawn, and I'm gonna try and get this Max Air fan put into the roof before it gets too, too hot. Let's get to it. All right, so this is what we will be installing. This is a Max Air fan, which has to go through the roof of the trailer and into the ceiling of the trailer. So I'm gonna start by just wiping the dew off this roof. I'll need to clean that better soon, but that's good for now. So I'm gonna quickly make a template that's 14 by 14 for the hole for this roof. I'm gonna check it against the fan to make sure that it's the right size. And then I'm gonna drill a hole from inside up through the roof so I know the position. And then I will trace the template onto the roof and cut it out with a jigsaw. The template appears to be pretty decent. This is where I'm going to put it, approximately here. That's where we're gonna go. So now I'm gonna put a couple pilot holes through the roof to use as a guide for when I'm up on top. So now I'm going to drill the pilot holes that I'll use to cut this with the jigsaw. So I have the hole cut in the roof and now I'm going to see if this fan drops in. Let's see. Sure do. I swear it looks like it's gonna rain. <laughs> uh. Well, that wasn't bad at all, and it didn't rain. With that done, I was able to move on and cut out the plywood backing that the fan would mount to. So far, so good, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try and hold this up with some shims. All right, seems to be holding. I put a piece of wood up in this hole and just traced the hole back into it. I watched some videos and a lot of people did this to give the roof some rigidity so the fan wouldn't bounce around while you were driving. So I'm gonna do it too. So I'm gonna cut the hole in this plywood just a little bit bigger, just to give myself some 
clearance. Clarence. All right, well that looks pretty good. Yeah, that should be plenty of extra space for the fan, but not too much. So the screws for the fan will still go through this plywood and make it extra secure. So things are going good. The next big step is to put the butyl tape on and mount the fan into the hole. All right, cleaning around the hole with some alcohol. Have the butyl tape on the fan. Then I'm gonna drop her in. All right, clean and dry. Let's put the fan in. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Now I'm gonna drill some pilot holes for the screws and put the screws in. All right, piece of cake. Got the screws in. I'm gonna wipe everything off, then hit it with Dicor, and then we will be done up here on the roof. All right, all done. I know that does not look good, but this is a lap sealant. So besides just filling the crack, you kind of want to make sure you have a seal over from the top piece down onto the roof. So yeah, I think we're good. This should self-level and look a little better. Although this brand doesn't seem to self-level that well, but whatever, as long as it's sealed. And so far everything we've done has stayed dry. So this should stay dry as well. Saturday, by the time I got the fan done, it was just ridiculously humid. I was drenched in sweat. I really didn't get too much done the rest of the day. Even when I went out later around seven, it was still just disgusting. So I got up early again the next day and I was able to finish installing the fan and install the rest of the ceiling in the trailer. All right, good morning. Yesterday, after I got the fan in, I really didn't get too much more done. It was just brutally hot and humid. The good news is today it's supposed to be even hotter. So I'm getting another early start. The one thing I did get done yesterday after I stopped filming was I got insulation in around the fan. I also caulked up in on the inside here. And I'm gonna start trying to get this ceiling up this morning. See how it goes. All right, I have the ceiling installed around the fan. Got the trim piece in. 
I have it wired up. It is looking good. I'm gonna throw the fuse in and see if it works. First, I'm gonna open it up just in case it turns on when I throw the fuse in. This knob right here, this, you push it into lock, you pull it out to unlock, and then you just twist it. And it opens the top cover. All right, I'm gonna throw the fuse in. Fuse is in. All right, let's see what happens. There we go. Man, that is quiet. The noise you're hearing is the air conditioner. That's on two, it's still very quiet. Three. Getting a little louder. But one and two, you can barely hear it. At least over the air conditioner. And four. Now it's making a little noise. Definitely sucking some air. Oh yeah. It's really pulling the air in from the window. Not that I want to do that right now, pulling in hot air, but yeah, nice. Turn it off. Oh. <laughs> I left a piece of this piece. See that piece of foam up there? <laughs> I gotta go get that out. <laughs> All right, well now that I have the foam out, I'm gonna close it up. Scratch another one off the list. Fan done. With the fan installation done and the fan working, I moved on to installing the ceiling. So the ceiling's done. Let me show you a little bit. one little piece of this trim but as you can see it'll be trim like that that goes over each of the seams a lot like in a school bus so at the moment I didn't do the very front of the trailer and that's just because in order to do that 
I have to finalize the top of the cabinet up there and that's not something I wanted to do just yet but I will get to that shortly and that's pretty much a wrap for this video and I'll see you next week mm -hmm.